Greetings, welcome to my domain. I'm the Game of Rocks Michael. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. And this is Cole Phelps in The Silk Stocking Murder. Let us get stopped in traffic here and on our way with sirens blaring. The alley off the lease of between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their gas. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Cole, don't give him ideas. Ever. Ever again. Because that seems like a bad thing. Give him ideas. I'm just going to keep following that flag. I'm not going to ask him. Keep on going through here. Yeah, see? Oh my god, it's right there! Jesus! Good lord, the people! The people in this town! City! They just jump right in front of you, Detectives, quite literally! They're ready to start the show. They I'll run right through. in front of you. Man, I really need to re download Sherlock Holmes versus J uh, Jack the Ripper. Because that one. Oh, that one was Christ another interesting sake. one. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you, when you're ready. Um... The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. I'm guessing belt from the looks of it. Good lord! Please don't go into any... Kiss the blood, BD. Is there another missing ring? Apparently another so. wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Oh my god. Uh, what? Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Why are you putting it back? Oh, never mind. Well, there's nothing else on this. The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangle, battered, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women. All murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Sure, go ahead. Still haven't finished yet. Oh my. May as well follow the trail. Sure, why not? Bloody hat. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. I guess that's her name. Uh, okay, she was dragged in here. And from the looks of it, she was bouncing on the guy was running and she was bouncing off the street while was in the while she was going. What's this? Useless! Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. Uh huh. Huh? On it goes. 
goes. Yeah, it does. It's all the way out there. Hey, guys. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Thank you. That's a plot point in the future case. But it's useless here. Five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Uh, yep. Someone is making it easy. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Possibly. Where are you taking us? That's a good question. find out. All I have to do is keep holding up and press RT. God. What now? all of this meant to be taking us? Good question. Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. Or he might just be getting more confident. Now what? Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. There's more! Trail points up. It's going everywhere! Still missing one thing. A possible murder weapon. And there's the ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? I have no idea. But he already zoomed in on it, so there's no way to zoom in farther. Uh, Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. There is the uh, bloody paintbrush. Good lord. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Ow. We're not finished yet.
There's still more to it. Considering how this is bouncing back and forth, we're missing something. And it's what the buddy is photographing right there. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Yep. There we go. Now, that's everything. Okay, now we can head back, head off, and head away. Let's head back to the car. sure we got everything tackled and speaking of tackled we might be able to do that uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. come on rusty KTI radio reminds you to immunize your child today only with we are going to Antonia's residence Get these diseases eradicated. delicious and creamy Spencer's <laughs> It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him. Hang on a second. Dead body. Crime scene. That crime scene spins for miles. Oh, it's literally just over there. Then I make a right. And then I left. Close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? And if he's got a confession, and you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Uh huh. Who's there? Like what? What's the ways of getting it? Antonia's residence. Funny, Rusty's got the same color as his car. He's wearing it. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet right. as you come in, detectives. It's his wife. All right. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Yeah. Rusty, this way. What are we waiting for? You're down there. I'm up here. It's the only room with a gold door. 
What the hell have I walked into? Will you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Uh huh. Okay, we have an address. window explains why the place looks tossed. You know, it makes the whole window stops. Okay then. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. I know. That's a fire poker. Charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Huh. That's everything? It literally is. That's literally everything. That's it. I wonder if there were the newspapers in this level. Oh well. Madam, we're back! We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Uh, possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us Ooh, about tell the truth? Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very Ouch. cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. Movements of victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. I doubt that. A nosy old hag like you knows everything oh my about God. the live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. Good Lord, Phelps. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino Again? place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Alrighty. Evidence of break-in. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. It's a lie. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. There's a broken window in her room upstairs. That's what we have to talk so about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. <laughs> Breakdown of marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. That is a lie, oh, madam. I don't know anything about a bracelet. The, this one? In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. 
Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Yes, ma'am. We can either not really, but game, sure. Seeing as the finger's pointing right at it, or we can check out the other robber. Uh, let's head to the El Dorado bar. Where'd the car go? Oh, there it is. Let's head to that El Dorado bar. A nosy old hag? Oh my. Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. Uh huh. Uh huh. What else do you have in your repertoire of, uh. Oh my god, it is right there. It's literally right where it was, too. So I literally have to just. just go back where it came. Story, but this town's seen it out a thousand times. Oh my, oh my, oh my! You want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real life suspects for every one of these men. Okay. You need to go looking for the monster under the bed. I don't know. Anything the monster under the bed is pretty good looking. I've been through three. She's really hot. No big deal. After a while, it was nothing. Let's see. But Angel, he's making a left turn, right, right turn. Sense of who he is, he'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him, and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Oh, we made it. We're done talking. We made it. We're here. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. So what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. All righty. Divorce papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time. Uh. Wow. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. I doubt that. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Yeah, Mo movement's a victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was gonna serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared, and the drink was for Dutch courage. 
She attracted yeah. any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. I wouldn't wonder. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? Yes. We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, head to the bar if it's open? Sure. The bar? What bar? What am I talking about? Just picked. If it's available. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Where am I? Oh, I'm... I'm near the other crime scene. Our car is just down there, so let's just run back to it. Just picked his clothes tight. The cop from the newspaper. Boy, oh boy, anything back here? Nothing! Where are all the back behind the bar? Let us find out. Well, you don't see that every day. You ought to meet those buddies. Hey! We meet again! Whoa! Out of order, like he said. My coffee next time, honey. Ah. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. That was it. Dangerous saved. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. Nothing else here. He went, uh, Back to the drawing of the bar da 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 Because we need to head, head off at uh, who... That's where I just was! How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Yeah, sure. Whoa! Left, right, straight. Yeah, okay, I got it. Hey, 
There we go. Just peel off the side of that. Okay. Left. Right. Keep going straight. Alrighty. Three oh four. Aldonado is an apartment three oh four. There we go. Good okay, stairs. Well, fine, let's go out. Go up. What's this one? Two oh three. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. I got a hundred pounds. Why not look? I don't want no trouble to see. Yep. There we go. One down. Two down. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. <laughs> Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no. Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it. You think I could kill my own wife? No idea. You get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Huh. Get out of my way. Nothing in here. this it doesn't give me anything to go on oh uh. anything else in here This will take some explaining. Yes, it will. Maybe one of the neighbors took note. Just picked fruit market. Ah, uh, yeah. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Good question. favorite now I got everything wait what's out here I could have gone up the stairs
Could have. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Huh. Are they? Where's your hat? No good. Nobody here. Darn. Who's next? Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. <laughs> Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. Mm. Had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> Cole Phelps, the asshole. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. Are there any messages for me? Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia killer has been found. Thank you. Okay, then. Urgently it is. Let's head down these stairs. Quick as we can. Here we go. Die from the papers. Now. Capital Hill in Washington is again the nation's focal point. I see no reason to go to the Just Pick Fruit Market. One of the most crucial periods in the nation's history. Come on, Finbar. <laughs> He still doesn't know his hat. <laughs> Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent a nut. Uh, this is a bad thing. This, this black dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case does not Wait, wait. We're right here the whole time? Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted in the fucking sidewalk. Okay, we were there the whole time. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Sure. Galloway, where's your hat? <laughs> I might call this episode Galloway's Lost Hat. He's going through the entire end of the episode without a hat on. Oh, it's so funny. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Boys, come on in. Phelps. Yo. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. 
This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Hmm. I have changed my mind. Henry case. You would not give a square deal. F you, BD Tex. Heap upon thy soul, upon thy soul by, by virtue of this, of this curse. curse. Ill, Ill deeds. Then be thou damned, beholding good, both infinite, as is the universe, and thou, thy self-torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though now thou sittest, let the hour come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally. And after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy legging fall through space and time that's why we called you in do you think it's original not unless he's a genius you like this nut jobs poem no i like shelley it was written at least 100 years ago shelley sure i knew that you see finnis i told you this lad was a bright boy sure but what does it got to do with the case prometheus unbound prometheus was a titan a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. All right. Where's your hat, Finbar? That's gonna be funny seeing him go without his hat throughout the entire video. <laughs> At least funny to me. Uh, let's see, where is... Oh my god, he was right here. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Last contact with victim. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. That is a lie. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Uh-huh. But you weren't. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and you jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford coupe. Okay. Oh dear. It could be the mayor's brother, mayor's son, or mayor's cousin, or something, his nephew. Uh, divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. That's a lie. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice size. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Whoa. Okay, how about these divorce papers? The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. 
Oh, Jesus. She came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What the is that me? The jewelry taken from her body. Your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Bloodstained shirt found. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Uh-huh. Why were you darting around looking for the answer? Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ford Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Okay. Now, time to head to Just Picked a Fruit Market. Because that's the only place left to go. Why do I get the funny feeling it's going to be on, on the list two or three times? Nope, just once. What's your read on Maldonado? Uh, my read on him? There's a street crime over there. Let's go do that now. Any more street crimes? Any more street crimes? None all the way back there. I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? We'll get to the market, the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be uh -huh. shut like all the others. Set out for that crime. Keep on going. All right. Oh, it's just over there. Oh, literally just over there. This is 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, officer needs help. 415 shots fired. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 11K, code 3. Yeah, we're going. Just need uh, to take the correct turn off. Ah! Just draw up someone's face. This way. And this way. Okay. 
Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up. You shut the hell up. Is that the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out and chased her across the yard with a 12 gauge. Now it's him. Get the bastard! Ah! Down. Give yourself up! Now! Why again? You're a cop killer! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Come on. There. Got him. I lost my hat. I lost my hat. Hey, got one's got his hat back. Damn. Darn, he's got his hat back. That's not fair. Well, sure, huh? Anyway, let's go. Finally, up ahead, you turn left. And okay. All right. Just ignore this turn. Sure. Where am I going? I can just about see where I'm going. Oh yeah, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going now. Gotta head back to that uh, thing. Well, this true car I never got to the last one. Oh well. Oh well. Woo! Oh my god. Find the street car. Find the street car. There. Back again, finally. Why are you telling me stop? Are you working for That's right. Bar cape. Sir, I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 
21 years old, Hispanic. Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Uh... Because... Because we need a distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Doubt. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, but not much. I sell the on the side of the after hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble, I'm just trying to make a buck. Contact with victim. Young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. I doubt that. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Very healthy, huh? Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Movements of victim. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Okay. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> He's not Clem Gadiddlehopper. Let's just woo. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Okay then. Oh my. I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. Poss yeah. There's a tie iron. That's useless to me. So what are we hiding in here? Hey, this thing needs a combination. Blood. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dot pattern note, two, five, three. Okay. Yeah! There's that wooden box. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another chase! Damn it, get after him, Cole. I'm going! 
trying to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. You should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Bill. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Yeah. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Trying. Strange that he keep a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Holy shit! Oh boy! It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Come on! Yeah! Get out now! Hey, his hat's gone again! You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Thank you, sir. Look at Cole going out with that swagger. And, of course, he's taking a case of alcohol. Because why wouldn't he? He's Irish-Scottish. Oh, I found everything! Yay! Yay! Flashback! Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that Jap loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Wow. Cole respects the Japanese. He, he shows them honor. But no one else would. The white shoe playing. I don't think that white shoe is going to be white after a while. I wonder if I should put this in black and white to show a real 50s detective movie. How familiar, a drunk woman. And it just fades to black. Good oh dear. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Uh, yes, sir. Anyway. Skipper! Thank you all! So much drunk experience! If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to raise hell. Subscribe to more, and I'll see you in the next video.